In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach a Roman shade to the Easy Rig track with hook and loop tape. Now, the Easy Rig system is one of our, our most popular shade lift systems. And you can order the Easy Rig track with hook strip already attached to the track. And we have several videos about this system that uh, you should watch if you've never used the Easy Rig system. The Easy Rig system is one of the only or the only lift system where you can attach to the lift system. You don't have to have a board. You can ceiling mount this or a wall mount it. And it only has a one and three quarter inch projection with the brackets, so it's perfect for those inside mounts. This is attached to the strip with loop strip that's sewn onto the top of the shade and you just press it together. Now this has a welt cord at the top. I'm going to show you how to do that. And at the end where the clutch is, there isn't any hook strip. If you want to take in a piece of adhesive hook strip and slap it on there, you can. You don't have to. There's enough hook strip all the way across that'll hold your shade up level. And if you want to wrap a return around, maybe you're making a London shade, you also can add some adhesive hook strip around the side as well. So to attach welt cord and your loop strip to the top, I'm going to use 3 quarter inch sew-on loop strip. And I'm starting by making welt cord. It can be any size welt cord you want. I would stay away from the really, really large fat welt cords. This is actually micro cord at the top. Make your welt cord, sew it onto the top of your shade. And you might want to sew with the shade down and the welt cord under to keep it from puckering. It depends on your sewing machine. You might be able to sew with the welt cord on top. But in the end, you don't want there to be take up. You want your Roman shade to end up the correct finished width. So sew on your welt cord. And then at the end, I'm just gonna open this up and clip the threads and show you how to finish off the end. I'm going to cut the cord off even with the finished width, trim away a little bit of the covering from the welt cord, and then fold that back over on itself. Tuck that all in, and then finish sewing that all the way to the end. And then you can take your loop strip, lay it in place, and I just keep the same welt cord foot on the machine and come in and sew right next to the welt cord, and then sew one more trip right along onto the lip of the welt cord. Then when it goes onto the track, it falls down. You might want to hand stitch right here at the end just to hold that together. You don't have to. Go ahead and put your shade on your track, and if you think you need to stitch that, you can. And I've done it on this one. So this end has not been stitched but gravity pulls it down. But if you think you need to, I've stitched across this one and that does hold it a little neater. You don't have to put welt cord in the top. You can, depending on your fabric, just stitch across. And that would be placing your loop strip onto the top of your shade, stitching it, folding it down, and stitching it again. And on a fabric like this tapestry, it's been top stitched you can't even see it. And uh, from down at the floor looking up at your window, you'll never ever see that top stitching. And then that just goes right on to the front of your track. It is so easy to mount with the hook and loop right onto the track. No board is needed. It gives a really beautiful, neat finish. And it's easy to adjust if you need to raise it up a little bit or pull it back to reach your brackets or access your shade or take your shade down. So I think you'll really like trying to put the hook strip onto the track for your Roman shades.